So basically, I uh, just purchased the cheapest set of um, three tier steamers um, that I could find. Uh, wanted it to be uh, stainless steel so it's human grade because obviously we're going to grow these for human consumption. So stainless steel is probably about the best you can get for that and they're not that expensive. Um, these were just purchased from Amazon, uh, given a, a nice a nice wash before use, but uh, obviously after we'd cut the hole. Right, so we're going to use a that. small bladed angle grinder to, um, to basically cut the bottom off this pan. And then we can put some mesh on. Eye protection. prototype for my mealworm farm um, made out of pretty standard steamer I've got the large 24 inch steamer so let's just break this down so the, the top is for the beetles uh, which is just a standard steamer and you saw from earlier we cut the bottom out of the next one um, so what we've got here is just the handles are held down by pieces of elastic which we can take off it just holds everything together and then here's the piece that we cut out earlier, which sits straight on top of a, um, a splash guard for a frying pan, which is a very large one and the holes hopefully are about the right size, but uh, I don't know yet until I try it. So I just wanted to show you this before we put the, um, the mealworms in. I haven't got any beetles yet. So that sits pretty much just on the base pan. And that's, that's it. So. The only difficult bit really was cutting out the base of this with an angle grinder and making sure that it's not too sharp. Uh, plenty of sanding down and filing. Uh, that would normally fit in there obviously. And the idea being, when it's all put together, obviously we've got the lid as well if we want to increase the heat in there a bit but we'd have to keep an eye on that. Um, so the idea being the beetles can go in the top and as they lay their eggs, the eggs in the frass, which is the, uh, the nice name for poo poo, <laughs> the eggs in the frass drop down. Now they're going to go into this section here with, the, uh, with the, the mesh and the eggs in the frass are going to drop down even further into the base. Um, so you can leave them in the base and then as you start to see the worms develop and they get to the size where they're not going to drop through the mesh, you can basically lift, lift all of this off. I uh, need to take the mesh with it, I would imagine, otherwise we're going to end up losing all the worms and, that are in there. And periodically we can empty out the base back into this section with the mesh on. And we should have a nice selection of worms then in there that are not going to be able to drop down. And then every so often uh, we can decide to completely empty this out. So we'll see how it goes. It's the first time I've ever tried doing it. I'm just about to um, empty my first colony of worms into here which I'm going to need to feed organically for one generation at least um, because they were just from uh, from from a pet food, pet, pet food supplier, live food supplier. So, so here are the, uh, the mealworms that came yesterday that have just been sitting in a pan waiting for uh, my prototype to be completed. Um, so we're just going to empty those in the top and hopefully it will all work out. And you can see what some of the meal has gone really fine, so hopefully um, this is going to work out now and it will start dropping through. So there we go, I will uh, update you in a week or so, or if there's any change or if anything goes wrong. <laughs>